the road to the Infinity War continues with Avengers Age of Ultron. Even though it's not really an age, it's more like a, a few days. Whoa, 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 hey. I'm sorry, Who, who's doing the review here? Technically, both of us, in all honesty. I mean, you know, we're the same people. What, so what, I, I don't really know just, who just really is reviewing and who. There are no strings on me. Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Orlando Blau Jr., but you may call me Lando, and the road to the Infinity War continues as we now enter the Age of Ultron! Avengers Age of Ultron, that is. Ha <laughs> ha! For those of you wondering what the movie's all about, here's a little short summary of the version and with the picture that I found online. Okay, okay, you guys want the long version? Okay, here we go. So Loki's scepter has been found. <gasps> They found Loki's scepter? How long has it been missing? Mid credits of the Winter Soldier, huh? That's, I, I guess if you guys care so, I'll, I'll care too. So, so who's looking for this soul scepter, huh? Is it Black Widow, maybe Hawkeye? I'm sure Thor's looking for this thing since you know it's his scepter. You brought all of them? Let me get this straight. Iron Man 3, Thor the Dark World, Captain America the Winter Soldier, and this is when they decide to show up. Bullshit! Language. Along the way, they meet a couple of uh, enhanced twins. One by the name of Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, or the Maximoff twins for, you know, short. And you can't call them mutants, because you're not allowed to say mutants. Or can you? One of the twins, the female Maximoff, by the name of Scarlet Witch, as we're gonna call her, decides to do a little hypnotism on Tony Stark, and there he has some sort of a foreshadowing that all of his friends are gonna die. What, what, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I, I can't let this happen! So after the Avengers do their little project, thing in Sokovia, they head back to headquarters, or HQ for short. And there, Tony Stark and Bruce decide, we have got to do something about this. Listen, Bruce, don't tell anybody about it, but I think everyone's gonna die, and I, I need to protect them the best way I know how. So we have to start. Don't tell anyone we're doing the Ultron Project. We're doing this to protect them. After all, what could go wrong? <laughs> So after they have a party and they all try to lift Thor's hammer to prove who's worthy, something goes wrong. Apparently their guy Ultron became an artificial self-aware AI. Uh-oh. How did this happen? Who the hell made you? After Ultron just fades off to the grid for a moment, he heads over to Sokovia. There he meets the Maximoff twin. You want to eradicate the Avengers because they killed your parents using the Stark Industries? I can make this happen. Although Ultron didn't really tell uh, the Maximoff twins anything about his real big plan, which is to make all the humans eradicate them and make a new evolution beyond the humans. Why would he want to do that? They head off to South Africa where they can find a man by the name of Ulysses, who apparently holds an item called Vibranium. One of the strongest particle of metals in the known world. And they just go to Wakanda to get it. <sighs> After the Avengers try to stop Ultron, it's foiled because Hulk got compromised. In fact, you could say he got Scarlet Witched. You like that? I, I mean, we need to go in hiding because Hulk kind of screwed up thanks to Scarlet Witch, so let's just lay low for a little bit, shall we? Meanwhile, Ultron heads over to South Korea where he wants to get a hold of an artificially, synthetically made body called the Cradle. Why? Because he saw Child's play. That dude Chucky could make a little doll. I mean, he could turn himself. Maybe I could do the same thing. Uh, I don't do that voodoo shit. I mean, this is all science. But it's foiled thanks to the Avengers. Dun, da, da, da. And we can get foiled, so can you, bitch. Language. So they take the body, they manage to get a hold of the scepter that actually had the Mind Stone inside of it, and they decide, along with the Maximoff twins who found out that the whole idea and the whole plan that Ultron wanted to do was really just a coy, they all head over to HQ. They all decide to head over to the HQ Tower. Why didn't they just give the cradle back to the people of South Korea? <laughs> eh. So with the help of the cradle, the newly discovered Infinity Stone, and Thor's lightning, they decide to create Ultron, the correct version. Oh, that's not a very good name, is it? Yeah, um, 
Thor had a vision of what would happen in the future. Vision. Now with the twins by their side, the new recruit Vision, the Avengers, the newly assembled Avengers, suit up, get everything ready, get packed, Vision hands over Thor's hammer, and then they take- Wait, what? Oh, he did, didn't he? Wait a minute, if he has Thor's hammer, then that makes him worse. <laughs> so Ultron is in Sokovia, ready to begin his new plan. Can the Avengers make it in time, save the people, and save the world as we know it? I was actually enjoying this version much better the second time than I did the first time. I know that sounds kind of weird because when I first saw it, I was a little bit like, okay, this is a little much. I think this movie's trying a little too hard and based on a lot of story and subplots just to get to, I guess, just creating vision, which is really what this movie looks like it's all about. I liked the action. I liked the adventure. It seemed like they knew where they were going, but there was just so many things I think Joss Whedon just, it, it was thrown in Joss Whedon's face so much that I think it was just too much to bear. That's probably why he left. And who could blame him? That's a lot of work. There's a lot of story into this movie. And plus there's a lot of flaws in this film, more so than I recognized. Well, for instance, um, how come we didn't get the chance to see Falcon fight? How come we only barely saw War Machine fight as much as we did? Why did Thor go to some place in some water to have this vision? Why did he have this? Why was Eric involved in that movie? So how come Maria Hill never gets to be involved in the adventures that the Avengers go through. Surely if they can get Hawkeye and Black Widow, I think she could prove some use. It's nice to see that the Infinity Stone, or the next Infinity Stone, the Mind Stone, is also in this one. Also, I do have a question. How did Thanos not know that he had the Mind Stone? Think about it for a second. The other gave the scepter to Loki, and the other worked for Thanos. Therefore, Thanos should have known that the Mind Stone was there. Why didn't he keep it for himself and just give it to somebody else? Why did he do that? Thanos, did you know? You, I hope you didn't know, because if you knew, you're a freaking moron. Otherwise, not a bad film. I think if by seeing it a second time, I appreciated it just a little bit more. And I think if you gave yourself a second time to see this movie, maybe you might appreciate it just a little bit more than you did the first time. Or maybe it's because I knew there were things in the movie when I see it from other clips to prepare me for this. But I could say that, but then I think to myself of Dawn of Justice when I see the Batman warehouse scene multiple times and other scenes in the movie that made me go, yeah, I still won't watch that film again all the way through. Uh -uh. In the end, what would I rate this movie? Would I rate it a one? Nah. Would I rate it a 10? Uh-uh. I'm giving it an eight. It was enjoyable. A second round. It wasn't as enjoyable the first time. I kind of fell asleep when I saw it in theaters for about five, 10 minutes. But with that said, the road to the Infinity War continues as we end with phase two of the MC. Wait, what? Are, wait, th this isn't the this isn't the last phase two. There's another one. Which one? Oh, we've got more to go. One more to go. Ant Man. Next week, I guess I'll go ahead and review Ant Man. You would think that after Avengers, you just you know you probably move on to another phase. But nope. But with that said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying the road to the Infinity War. More to come. We're on a good track here. We're getting there. We're getting there. If you guys liked this video, I hope you guys did. And leave a like if you did. And also be sure to subscribe for more content. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook at Orlando Bilal Jr. And follow me on Instagram at You May Call Me Lando. Otherwise, guys, thank you again for watching. More content to come. I promise you that. You guys take care. And as always, rock on.